What's up? What's up, people watching this back? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're watching this in life times, life circumstances. Um, sorry, shouldn't really open with a, a noise and sound like that. I can't avoid, I cannot avoid the subject matter anymore. I need to get it out of the way. Um, yeah, getting lots of messages, lots of email messages about this contentious issue for some regarding the change to the park home results. And uh, I'm getting emails saying, are you going to do it for the pod? Have you seen about it? Have you heard about it? What are your thoughts? Interested to hear your thoughts, which I respect and I appreciate. Um, but yeah, I'm aware. I spent all day yesterday, and I'll repeat this later for people as a join. I spent all day writing my piece for the pod. It does impact in the pod for next week, those of you who do listen, and it will um, be a concentration on that. It means that every other nice things have to go by the by. Like uh, our lovely Mensa story last week was a highlight. I really loved that. And it means that next week is quite foreboding, and I don't look forward to it. I don't enjoy it. Anyway, uh, hello to people joining us. Hello, Andy Airy, Kay Cottrell. How are you doing? Um, big development, says Kay Cottrell. I recognise that there are a broad range of feelings amongst the very engaged parkrun community. So I will have to repeat myself a few times for people just to cover over bases and thoughts and opinions as they join and come and go throughout. Um, but this is not to dismiss anyone's opinions or feelings. Um, I have my thoughts, feelings and opinions and... You don't have to agree with them, and I don't have to agree with you, but we can all be quite amicable about, amicable about it, if I can get the word out, and think forward as to how it's really going to impact. Um, anybody watching us right now, I recognize, is a still walk park runner primarily, and do you know what? 95% of people who take part in park run week in, week out aren't really impacted or affected, and it will not have changed their participation in any way shape or form generally that's a rough bit of maths or statistics uh generally made up on the spot <laughs> i would say statistically lots of stats made up on the spot but yeah you know what i mean that you know that the 300 400 000 people take part of the weekend most of them will just go run do what they do and go home again they might look at look at some numbers and figures um but i think that we uh, the core part of the community are more impacted we're more passionate we're more emotionally invested we're more financially invested socially invested into it i think we have a bit more investment into it anyway so i want to hear your thoughts i'm not going to spill over what i wrote out all day i was awake till two o'clock in the morning just going through things to the end it's been on 10 o'clock news um sophie ray worth was after that Regarding it, it's been on LBC apparently. Daily Mail's got an article, BBC News articles are done. So it is far reaching. So it's not just kept yourself to social media. Some people have said that it's, um, oh, it's just something that goes on social media. Well, it's gone beyond that now. It's gone into the public domain. And so people are aware of it. And I think we can discuss it. As long as you don't, <laughs> the thing still gets under my skin, accuse me of being the one who did it, as someone on Twitter did. And when I pass them in the street at some point when I run by them, because they are local, I'm going to ask for an apology because they still haven't come forward and said it. They've been very vocal on social media. And yet they said, well, you and the lads at HQ changed this. Nah, I haven't worked for Parkrun since 2015. I had no hand in this. I had a hand in helping change the language many years ago regarding if we're going to say it's not a race then we need to get rid of things like race director and winners but regarding this actual technical change no not my fault anyway stephen ferguson hello hello mate this is the utterly inevitable conclusion to the whole affair and this let's just jump straight to the end i agree it is inevitable this is where it was going this is what if you've been listening or following what i've been saying this is where it was leading to. This was the path that Parkrun was going down. This is the road that they were leading everyone down. That if you are going to position yourself as a health and well-being organization, a charity, all the things, all that they've pivoted and changed from how it used to be, it's not how it used to be, that this is where it's going to end up. And if you need to stand there and say, we are not a competitive event, then you need to change your language and anything that alludes to that and anything that connects you toward that. All of these changes, as far as I'm concerned, yes, they may well have been in the pipeline for a long time and been discussed repeatedly. It's been accelerated because of things that have happened primarily on Twitter recently. We all know regarding that. 
And that is a connected affair. Well, look, look how many people are joining me. 101 people. Who? What a surprise. I thought even at lunchtime, I'd get a large audience. That will go up as well because it is a very emotive subject for many passionate park runners. Anyway, um, Peter LaRue, the tone of the campaign from both sides has been upsetting, not at all the ethos of parkrun. And this is the, the thing that I think upsets a lot of people is um, parkrun is meant to be a community affair and this has made a lot of things very divisive. So people don't want to associate in their head what parkrun is with being a negative force uh, during the week. They, it's meant to be that you go there and everything is meant to be lightness and joy and happiness and fitness and, again, health, well-being healthy, happier planet, all that usual mantra. And so when you see this go on, if you spend time looking at it, if you feel strongly about it, if your opinion either way, what it naturally makes you do is feel negative. It makes you uh, hollowed out. I feel horrendously hollowed out. I have been slightly disillusioned by a few things at Park Run bit by bit, as you do, as you would do after spending nearly, I come up to 19 years and doing it in certain ways and certain things. But I keep hanging on because I know that the net, pos the net positive outweighs any negative. Um, but people do not want to associate negative things with park run because otherwise it just steers them away. Um, and I think long term, I think if people forget about here and now, if we look from into history of changes, if we project forward, it's going to be slightly different park run, but it's going to carry on. And you have every right to be upset, but it's the way that this has gone about. It's the way that this has all happened. The communications have been awful have been terrible it's been a slip up and a mistake and um hq have actually acknowledged that which is surprising considering they were meant to have employed a, a company recently uh, run communications that are meant to be helping out with things like this that's been not great um the way it leaked out it's the same thing every time this happens something comes out it leaks out it spreads and then of course the event teams are there going i, I don't know what's happening what's going on can someone please inform me you're either none the wiser or you need to know because you are being asked questions by community and if you've not been armed or for, forearmed with the, the information it leaves people vulnerable it leaves them out to dry you're like it makes them upset you're like why have you not told us this if they've been planning this for months and months and months, they should have had a strategy and a plan in place for the communication. So that's been quite poor. And like I said earlier, the acceleration of all this has happened because of what's been going on regarding, uh, you'll see that in the news media, the um, the protecting women's sports thing. So Mara Yamuchi is primarily the person who's done that. And then what that also involves, Sharon Davis, is that it brings park run together into the argument about uh, this is centers around a lot of it uh, the self id registration for your gender and how park run have a policy and how that uh, mara has and others have been latching on to the competitive side of things and they've gone after park run now i think personally that here's the olympics here's park run the competitive side of park run has slightly venn diagrammed and crossed itself over and that's what's causing a lot of this argument um, uh, amongst the people who are either side of that. Some people saying that it's not a race, it's um, just go down, the, do your 5K, go away again. And then you've got the people on the other side who treat it like the Olympics, who see it like it's Olympics, who see it's like a race. And that's fine. You can go and treat it as you wish. But how you do something within it is not what it makes it. Um, and Mara, and I've said this, all this in the pod, I've written all this a thousand times over. Mara and everyone, Sharon, have as far as I'm concerned, every right to protect women's sport, that should absolutely be protected. On a competitive element, you do not want women to be um, having to miss out on financial rewards and prizes and places. But Parkrun doesn't give any of that. You don't get any of that. So what is happening is Mara currently is uh, saying it is a race because you have all these elements that are category records. That's okay. That's fine. And of course, it's sending a mixed message. So she's latched onto that. But of course, some people are then saying to her, well, it's not a race. And she's saying, well, it has these elements. So she's insisting just because you insist something is because you perceive it doesn't make it so. And that's what I think is a bit of the, the clash here. It has elements of a race, but it doesn't have all the elements of it shares similarities. Anyway, so I just think it's really bad timing. It's coincidental, I, I think, a little bit. It just looks like it's poorly timed regarding it because that's accelerated. Um, Mara has been brought on to me to talk about it. 
And it's a very thorny, sticky subject that a lot of people are frightened to talk about, have hidden away because there's consequences if you fall on the wrong side of the argument. It has become very black and white and people have become very tribal about it. And if you look online on Twitter, there's lots of insults and spats and uh, name calling and it's become very heated and none of it is park run. So those of us who are invested in park run and love it have gone, I don't give uh, flying about this. I just want to walk away. I'm tired of it. I cared about it, but I don't want any part of all this. And unfortunately, I'm in a position where people come toward me and ask me about my opinion and thoughts because of the podcast that we produce. And I hate it. I absolutely hate being in this position. I want to give you positive, light, happy stories. And I keep getting pulled into controversies and it hollows me out. Anyway, hello, people. Let's have a look at your thoughts. Stephen Ferguson again. I find the level of entitlement among some invested park runners exhausting. I do miss the simplicity of old school basic park run. I think that entitlement is on the rise in society in general. That if somebody says, I want something, then they get it. And that makes it quite difficult and tough. Um, it's not just within park run, but you definitely see it within it. I see it regularly. Uh, hello, Helen Rutter. Um, can't believe you banned stats, says Danny. I'll laugh at this. I'm going to make this a bit lighthearted as well. Yeah, no, I got, well, hello, Will. Yeah, yeah, it was my fault, apparently. I'm the one who banned the stats. Um, excuse me. Hello, Carrie. I hope you're doing okay in Singapore. Um, Ian Thompson says the Brockenhurst ED actually quit, cite, quit citing this, though I suspect they were looking for an excuse. Oh, right, here he quit. He stood down, did he? Yeah, there's going to be a few people that go, do you know what? It's not worth my time. I'm walking away because uh, volunteers don't eat a lot of this hassle, which is understandable. Uh, Daniel Valentine, have to catch up with this later. Yep, absolutely. It's going to be online. I'll leave it up. Uh, Mark Devlin uh, says, I personally think it is a ridiculous decision by Parkrun HQ. Yep, there's many people that also think that too. I think it's no less valid than having it is your opinion. And I always that's the thing. I think if people can be quite balanced, go, that's okay if that's your opinion, rather than actually shout people down about it. I'm okay with that. Um, I think that inclusivity does mean that you should be including as many people to participate in the way they wish. I just think that is why we can't have nice things because of the behavior of the entitled or the egotistical and the arrogant, the brash and the angry and the overly competitive. You can be competitive, but you can be overly competitive and elitist. It puts off more people and parkrun don't want to have that associated with the brand um and this is someone who's coming from a uh, 16 minute 5k someone who had 70 plus first finishes who enjoyed to be on uh, tables um is number two in parkrun yes parkrunner in the world who is 13th most touristy person the most events table is now gone i have a lot of investment in time but at the same point i recognize that when it's becoming toxic and damaging to my participation so for example tomorrow i'm just going to go to somewhere try and be local with a, my loved one um citing gem and some other friends as well and enjoying parkrun for what it should be and what it is um and i've been there when i've been speeding around and taking part i've also been annoyed the hell out of by being elbowed by people who take it a little bit too seriously who treat it like the olympics if you're a 19 minute 5k and you want the number one token fantastic but grab some perspective it's not the olympics you're not anti badly running around in 13 minutes it is circumstantial as to where you go and when you do it and i think that there's been a bit of a mix up there for some people they've got a bit confused as to what parkrun is Simon Teal, is this Chatham House rules? I non attributable site. Why do you always come up with these sort of weirdy, funny comments, Simon? I have no idea what you're on about. I'm sure it's quite an intelligent remark if you explained it in context. <laughs> Uh, Peter LaRue, I'm interested about this speculation that have some put out that it's no longer an organized race that might open the door for Parkrun France to return. I think it's a byproduct. Then they haven't been doing this to bring Parkrun France back. Fran Parkrun France isn't big enough a market to, to make all these changes for. This has just been in the making for years and years and years. It's been overdue. I've, I've been saying this. I've been saying this. I'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner. It was always going to lead this way whilst the uh, the gender ID matter was bubbling away in the background and, and, and getting a grip on things. Um, it was always going to lead to that. Parkrun was always going to hit the nuclear button. I'm not condoning. I didn't do it myself. I'm not saying it's the right thing. I'm just saying it's that they were cornered and that's what they've gone ahead and done. You could, and I said before, I saw it coming. I knew they were going to do this. It's not because I'm a genius. It's not because I'm magical. It's not because I can predict the future. It's because you can just see the consequence of this. This is the way it was going. 
uh, Gabby Neer, just popping in between classes. Thank you, Gabby. Uh, Nigel uh, Nigel Herbert, hi, Danny. Bet you've had a busy inbox. Yeah, I have. If people can please stop emailing me and saying, look, are you going to talk about it and give your opinions? I respect you really want to reach out to I love the fact and respect the fact you want to listen to my opinion about this. I really do. Um, but it's just me. And so I am going to talk about it. Like I say, I've written all day, all day written my notes out to try and give an overview and cover an analysis of all of this. I'm not going to get it right. Not everything I say you're going to agree with. I'm going to try my best. I get very little out of it other than just being primarily a, a passionate park runner uh, regarding this all with a lot of experience and a platform that people are willing to come and watch. Uh, Ian Pullen, I understand why they have had to do this, but what upsets me is the level of harassment the park run the park run and certain Olympian visited recently amount of tweets. Um, okay, so let me break that down very quickly. The amount of tweets must be causing the event at ground level so much unnecessary stress and extra work. Yeah, Mara went to Cannon Hill and she wore a Save Women's Sport t-shirt. I talk about that in the pod. I'm not trying to drive all you guys to listen to the pod. I do touch upon that. Um, she did go there with a the t-shirt and then, of course, what happened, and I'm spoiling the pod, is uh, that she had photographs that were taken down and what has happened is you've given her... Um, understandably greater resolve to say hang on a minute you're trying to censor me uh, it's a dry sand effect you brought more attention to that by deleting it rather than just ignoring it and let it bubble away in the background if you just let her run around in the t-shirt then um it would have had less of an impact and wider reach um mara has every right to feel like she does i just think that she's focusing her attentions and efforts and energies in the wrong in the wrong um direction regarding it she's um i think pulling park run down a little bit with her i think she's upsetting a lot more people she overstepped the mark when she wanted to say remove sport england funding you do that you're affecting loads of people who aren't affected by category records you're going to annoy a lot of people that's unnecessary to threaten to get your way that was that was too much uh victoria lawrence uh, interested to hear your thoughts yeah a lot of these will be reiterated in the pod next week uh billy peters was very surprised to see it made the national news. I wasn't. I wasn't at all. It's a hot topic, isn't it? Uh, thought the discussion was more esoteric. Don't actually know how it will affect me as a month or, uh, as on a month of the 5K app. Not as invested in it as most of you will be. I'm here to peek into the inner sanctum. Well, yeah, there are huge nuanced degrees of investment into all of this. Uh, I did, lots of people have varying feelings. A lot of people have apathy about it. A lot of people feel, feel extraordinarily strongly about it. Um, I think that as long as the park run fundamentals are kept and then we can just turn up on a Saturday and go around and have another run added to the belt. I'm not, I can look at the technical stuff in a bit, maybe once the audience goes down a little. It's extraordinarily large. That in terms of what's actually missing and gone, a lot of stuff is still there. It's just not public facing and it's not put into a table or a league. Like the most events table has gone. Well, a table becomes a league. It becomes a competition. People get a bit toxic regarding their um, involvement with it. They see it. And a lot of people are saying it's the only motivation I had to do it. Then change. Adapt your motivation. I used to go to Park Run 400 times with the ability, with the ability to whip around as fast as I could. And then something happened to me physically and mentally and I had to change my participation. I'm still able to participate and did another 400 plus times. It's just that my uh, way that I participate evolved and changed. Saying it's the only motivation, well, find a solution then. Do something else with it. Participate in a different fashion. We are privileged to have it. It's a free event. Um, again, we're not entitled to anything. And if they make these changes, they make these changes for a particular reason. If you agree with them or not, I'd say it's a different matter. Uh, Russ was on Radio 5 this morning. Yeah, uh, Mr. Vanilla is Russ. Some tough questioning, but responses were just as per the website news post, except his last phrase. He said he thinks that heat should be turned down on these matters, which seemed a bit inflammatory rather than calming. Yeah, no, um, Russ is, like I say, he's Mr. Vanilla. He says the right words. He says the right things. Um, and the heat should be turned down. But sometimes I do think that Parkrun uh, leans towards being a little bit cult-like when it comes to this, don't say anything negative. How dare you? I mean, the aggression and anger is it is it is way too much. It is off-putting. It's unnecessary. Um, they don't help themselves. I think they keep making the same communication uh, errors over and over and over again. Um, like I say, Russ is the perfect CEO for Park Run. If they want to go as middle of the road and vanilla as possible, then he, being Mr. Vanilla, is the perfect CEO for it. 
Charlie Pierce cannot believe some of the reaction to this. I will at Park Run tomorrow. As normal. I will be at Park Run tomorrow as normal. I expect my experience and enjoyment of it to be no different. Yep, I think that's going to apply. As I said earlier, not to ninety five percent of people taking part. Um, Gareth Howe, uh, a massive missed opportunity. Instead of glibly deleting things, why not include more useful stats which celebrate the uniqueness? This isn't going to be the only change. So this is this isn't permanent in terms of how Parkrun doesn't stay like this forever and ever. Um, position this stuff as an achievement for the whole community. The concept of doing well can easily coexist in inclusi inclusivity when handled with decent strategy and comms. And to be honest with you, the information is still there. You go and look. It's just going to be a little harder to find. You can go and see your age grade. Your age grade is still going to be online. You're still going to get it in your email. We'll wait to see what the email says exactly. I don't think the email is going to change. We've been told it's not going to change. But if you were told in your email that you were second, third, fourth, first, whatever, in your age category, you'll get that information in your results email. It's not disappeared entirely. It's just not public facing. What a lot of this stuff is, is a lot of this stuff still exists, or you can try and find it out. It's just not public. It's private facing now. So they haven't completely abolished the info. It's just that your ability to access it and compare with others and compete with others regarding it has been reduced. So they haven't got rid of entirely. Like I say, you go on the results page right now. Do you know what? Should I do it? Let's share it. Let me just prove to you. Let me just show this to you. Share screen. Should have had this up earlier. Bushy Park Crime Share. Oh, this is so fiddly with StreamYard. Add to stage. This, this has got the a little extension going on, but there you go. Look, Daniel Jarvis, 82.87% age grade. Say you, you are an SM25 to 29. Let's have a look. You can still search it. Boom. There you go. You can see. You can still see it. If you're desperate to find out where you are publicly, you can still find ways around it. It's still there. Um, it's just that your ability to go, I am the fastest person at a park run. I I went to a park run of 40 people and I was the number one um, VM 40 to 44 in the age bracket. Um, hooray for me. If that means a lot to you, that means a lot to you. But I do think there needs to be a little bit of perspective about if you aren't winning the Olympics. You don't get no trophies. You don't get any prizes. It's it's for yourself. It's for your own a sense of achievement. Um, but perspective is required. Um, Wilfred, it's meant to be fun and inclusive. Some people like the records. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I used to like having course records. I had quite a few course records in my time. But there's no tangibility to them. They were beaten, and I didn't benefit in any material way from it. Um, I think the argument against uh, trans people in sports are flawed and part of a wider agenda personally, but shouldn't really affect something like parkrun anyway. That's a different matter. I'm not going to get into that. Um, I think that the uh, the argument against trans people in sports um, – I think the governing bodies, I like to say World Athletics, they've they've been through this through through it all, um, and then there's a reason for it. Um, biological males have a, a a difference over females. This is why um, you have women's category sports in the first place. You wouldn't have it otherwise. You'd have it all mixed. Um, men are naturally bigger testosterone once they go through puberty and everything. Men are naturally stronger, faster when it comes to competitive sports. That is undeniable. Um, so, of course, then there's this crossover here when people who transition to go into a uh, female sport that they have a natural biological advantage. And this is why it's not me saying this, this is why World Athletics and other governing bodies are doing this because they recognize this. It's just science. It's not an emotion issue or about feelings. It's about bi um, biological science. A lot of people really don't want to hear that. But the World Athletics have come to that um, decision through all their uh, they poured so much time talking to so many different um, bodies and things about it uh, wendy marks more corporate managed to speak eds were not told just more evidence of hq disregard for its volunteers um eds were not told they were they were told late is what the issue was uh, james howlett a weekly timed run with fun stats and records become a well-being movement fine but why one or the other surely room for all angles of interest and motivation um, as I, I reiterated earlier it's a message that any um, category uh, any ranking sends it says that you are making it a competition making it a race it's about the it's not the semantics it's about the connotation it's about the connotation of the message it was inevitable says Nikki Clark and will make absolutely no difference at all to the vast majority of people um, people's park and experience yeah absolutely I think the Proof in the pudding will be tomorrow as to the attendance. The attendance, if it's going to be 350,000 people globally like it was last week, 
I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. The only difference would be some weather affectations in terms of some events not going ahead. Martin Kaplan, what throws me most apart from the very meh comms by HQ around it is that they went on about surveys and stats. They looked at very closely since pre-COVID, but they did not present that data, making it so hard to both defend the decision and accept it more easily. I've also been amazed that they've had months doing this surveying, but they couldn't come up with a, a solid comm strategy re regarding it all. Um, hundred percent is not competitive. The records are a fun thing. Spencer Lewis, I think a future a runner's age sex will be removed from results. They may go as far as removing the publishing the results on the website. So you only see your results and stats via the emails. Yeah, they, they, I don't know what other changes are coming. Um, there will be more changes going forward. Um, they're going to keep on impressing about how it, it is meant to be like just a general 5k run with your friends around the park. And if it means that that your age and sex can end up being used in a competitive fashion. They may end up deleting it. I'd rather they don't keep on reducing their website down to the bare bones. I think that they are the reductionism go, can go a step too far. Um, again, I'm not condoning or backing up any of the decisions. I'm just pouring over thoughts. As I remarked on Twitter, the vast bulk of park runners aren't affected. Um, I can't trouble either male or female records at most park runs. Yeah, most people don't really care about a lot of this stuff. Um, the self is the self ID does matter even in a run because it gives a proven argument of something that is nonsense. No human has changed sex. That is a different matter entirely. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm sticking to about I'm sticking to the competitive um, sports element. I want to talk about competitive sports element and the impact, not that matter as a as a wider whole. Personally, if you identify someone else, it doesn't impact anyone else. I don't see why it should bother you. Um, if you want to be that, then you be that. I don't see why it's anybody else's business. If it, it starts to go into competitive sport and then it does have an impact, then it's a different it's a different discussion to have. But telling people what they can and can't be, if it doesn't impact you, shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. Uh, Gabby Nier. Um, oh, Simon Till. Use of performance enhancing drugs is a much bigger issue for stealing women's sports records, professional and community. Um Oh, the drugs matter. This is why I don't pay much attention to athletics either. Yeah, every world record that pops up at the moment is either because it's done on carbon fiber trainers um, or it's done with a questionable um, a blood system. Yeah, drugs prevalent in sport is a big, big thing too. Gabby Nia, what I really hope is that none of this unholy mess impacts on people tomorrow, especially the volunteers. It would be heartbreaking to hear all volunteers being challenged about Parkrun's position. Yeah, no one needs to have a go at Parkrun volunteer whatsoever. It's nothing to do with them. Ian Thompson, the ugly witch hunt for the lady at the London Marathon the other year is indicative of this, irrelevant in the wider picture, the culture wars. Uh, yeah, culture wars is going on. This is why it makes it such a very thorny, horrid subject to talk about. Do we think timing will be in the way or in the future? Um, I I think there's the fundamental tenets of parkrun is that you end up having to have someone cross the line, you time. If you want to keep the human element, this is the thing. If you want to automate it so that you don't have any involvement in terms of positions and tokens and you automate it, everyone has a chip time and you go home and then you lose a community element. You need to have humans timing. You need to have humans funnel managing. You need to have humans giving the tokens out. You need to have humans scanning so people talk to each other. To do that, the results process means that you end up having to have a token so you can work out the the position so you can align the time the tokens and the timing system is about attributing the right time to the people when they cross the line if people if people stay in order it's not about who is the fastest it's about being able to compile a results list using human beings not an automated system so as long as people understand that it's like why don't you have position tokens so you can do the results so you can attribute a time clicked on a timer to the token given out at the end through this human system you don't want to lose that um tim gross um listening in to gauge the mood unclear on implications for us have asked yeah what tim is a uh, statistician who does what power of 10 and run britain so search and the search function has gone as well be interested to see what implications they're doing it apparently to, to the suggestions of being gdpr um this does mean that it's going to be harder to search for people and of course what will this mean for power of 10 and run britain um interesting because it is going to impact you guys yeah i don't know tim either um uh, when is Elliot Lyon getting his P45? <laughs> yeah, no, I wonder how it's going to impact Charlie Pierce and Elliot Lyon. I think the data and stats that Elliot puts out is still available. I don't know how it's going to be impacted. Um, and so, yeah, and Harry, when I just did that little bit about the, the system, it wasn't at you. That was the trigger. Do we, timing will be in the way. 
uh, on the way out. No, I think timing, personally, I'd like to think that timing stays. I mean, I say it's a fundamental tenet. They removed that and automated it, then you kill Park Run. You put a bullet in its head by doing that if you remove the human element. The more human elements you remove of a morning, then that's not Park Run anymore. That's part of the reason why Great Local Run didn't quite um, understand and get it. It, It's not a flawed system or an archaic system. It's a human system. And people want human contact and connectivity and community. And that is key, core, and fundamental to it all. Um, Gates. Yeah, so a lot of this stuff. Jonathan Rourke is saying Gates always looks less significant when we look back. Hope this is another one. I agree. We have been, I am so tired and hollowed out from this. The only difference with this one compared to all the other gates. So of course you had egg gate regarding the happy eggs and dog gate regarding the leads is that this is so much more sensitive and vitriolic and that people are frightened to talk about this subject matter, that people are canceled, that people get attacked, they get doxxed just for trying to talk about it. And it's the and I say the black and white tribal element. People are frightened of having this conversation. This is why this gate is different. It's why it's been picked up by LBC, Daily Mail, and other news outlets um, because it's so much more emotive and divisive, and it is horrible. Um, also, Helen writes a nasty comments in this thread. Uh, people don't normally get involved is it, unless there's a controversy. Yeah, absolutely. There's twice as many people I get. It's more than twice as many people I get on a live usually. I was expecting this. More people are uh, watching. They'll be listening to the podcast next week, waiting, uh, hate listening, waiting for me to say the wrong thing or write an email in to say, how dare you say this and how dare you say that. To be honest with you, I'm starting to really get past caring. Um, I'm uh, six years doing the pod. So I'm 19 years of park runner. And as far as I'm concerned, the only thing I really care about is park running with the, the people I love, one person in particular. And for me, my future should be invested in her and going forward. And park run is just something on the side. And as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't mean that much to me. When I'm on my deathbed, if I'm lucky enough to be 95 years old, I, I want to look back at the time that I spent with my loved ones, not fussing and worrying and arguing with strangers online about things that don't matter, like these temporary controversies. Um, Catherine Hall, I feel for you, Danny, more ding ding stories, please not ding ding stories. Uh, ding ding stories, if you're wondering what that means, ding ding stories are, um, listen to the pod, basically I find them that you're you're whacking your, your knife against a wine glass, getting people's attention and giving them a lovely story to regale and has everybody in the palm of your hand and they're laughing. And we had that uh, on the last week's pod about Mensala, where they got a mix up with their tourists. Um, and, I, and that's what I want to do, I just want to talk about ding ding stories unfortunately i just kept keep on getting pulled in and the irony of it all is that when we did with me now podcast that there was such adversity from certain people at hq about us doing us because we were going to be controversial or i'm controversial i've caused none of the controversies the irony of it all um uh jr will power tend to have the category position or any results at all yeah we'll uh, have to let tim let us know mr tim gross uh, thank heavens we still have average course pace that's a very useful indicator to me and target that's what your gps watches are good for um steve nickel i know everyone has banged on about this i used to look forward to seeing how many tourists events people achieve this is no bearing on speed stats sadly i'll never be one of those darts um yeah it's a shame we're gonna have to get used to things not being available uh, at the moment you never know it might be a way around it and going forward not, everything is temporary everything is temporary nothing is permanent there is no permanency in life generally um the most events table I'm going, for example, I'm happy because, excuse me, Tiny Steve, my partner in crime with a lot of tourism, used to take it way, way, way too seriously, way too competitively. And it was getting under my skin. It was causing me to be concerned about just how obsessed he'd become. I had been pulled into that whirlpool. I had a conversation with a tourist friend back in Germany, in Cologne. Um, on the Unity Day a year and a half ago where his partner was tired of touring around. He said, can we just got not go local and see friends and uh, familiar and not have to go miles and miles and miles? Can't we just spend some time with people? And she's doing that now, but he's not. He's not given up on it because he was chasing um, a league table online. And that's gone now. 
it may carry on the tourism factor but the motivation was must go ahead must try jump ahead this is why the extras overseas were so important to so many people because it meant that you jumped ahead on other people it became competitive and it also became toxic i know that many tourists at the top end had fallen out with each other over it and i didn't want any part of that i don't care i don't care if i'm 12th 13th 14th 15th wherever in a bloody most events table because none of it matters it's temporary it's gone now um, and like I say, it doesn't matter in the reality of life. I have far more important things. I want to have a proper family home life. I, and most events table isn't going to give me that. And those people who focus on that instead of that, I think when they look back and go, oh, God, I invested so much time and money focusing on a table that didn't matter. I've actually forgotten about life on the side, uh, put life to the side. And I regret that. You don't want to regret that. Um, Johan. Uh, here is my part of South Africa. It is largely a non-issue except for the participation stats removed. Yeah, interesting. To th Thank you, Johan. It's because, of course, overseas have a very different feeling and opinion about all this. I think that's absolutely true. Um, I think this is very UK-centric, a lot of this stuff that's going on. Uh, Karis Backman, glad to have chosen to have some gem time tomorrow. Gem is and should be, and for everybody out there, for any of you with loved ones and partners, they should be a priority rather than a bunch of statistics on a website. Charlie Pierce, although I probably get an hour or so a month back now, not having to update the runs versus the rent graph. Um, fella, yeah, I do feel for you, Charlie. I don't know if they would ever give you the data on the inside to help it carry on for nice purposes. It would be nice. Um, Chris Nichols, keep going, Danny. Can take or leave the stats 80% of the time based on the weighted average of the different measures of the runners in my office. <laughs> uh, Amanda Murray, Hintide, hello there. You're right. Uh, did you see the amazing Tintin Abbey last week? Oh, this is completely veering off. I didn't. I didn't go past it, Dow, on my way to, um, uh, where did I go? Chippenham Playing Fields in Monmouth in Wales. Helen Rutter, I think a switch off from the crap and just go run walk would be nice to everyone there, uh, unless you like a fight. I don't have my... Everyone's fighting their own battles as well, and I think that we need to be prioritising um, their battles in real life. Um, H. Matthew Hoarth, not especially heartbroken by the change, but I do think removing the times misses some nuance. Yeah, yeah, everything is nuanced. Different speeds, times will still exist where the data is hidden. What I love is it given... Um, it's get, yeah, hidden publicly, but you can still find this information out for yourself. Um, what I love is that given different time speeds exist, the Parkrun community respects and celebrates all those time speeds within the single event. Happy and proud of my 1823 and my 1919 tail walk and all the different ways we celebrate everyone finishing either side of those and anywhere in between. Absolutely. And then let's not, let's not kid ourselves. Let's not pretend ourselves. We all know people that it would be horrified to run slower than 18 minutes and that feel that anybody that's slower than 45 minutes shouldn't be involved in athletics running park run all of the above and that elitist attitude isn't particularly brilliant oh sorry that's matthew's message um and someone who has gone from at the front to being forced to go to the back um yeah i i think my eyes have been opened uh they were open long before that uh lindsey barrel mara did that at least one other event too. yeah mara has been going to park run and using it as a platform I think if Mara, I, look, I'm all for and behind Mara protecting women's sports in organised competitive uh, um, sp uh, competition and sports. I'm spread it out. You know what I mean? Organised competitive sport. Absolutely. Park Run is she's punching down on Park Run regarding it. She's trying to make Park Run something it's not. Um, Ian Thompson, it's not a hill to die on. Unfortunately, some have made it such. Uh, not saying to be hard to people tomorrow, take your fights elsewhere. Uh, David Douglas, everybody has a choice personally. I love all the stats and reaching milestones, but slowly they are disappearing one by one. So what is the point? Um, the thing is that milestones, oh, do you know what? The, the tables of the milestones have gone, so you can't see who's number one, number two, number three, et cetera, et cetera. Not that it really, really matters. Um, but of course it will matter when <laughs> the first volunteer, Nikki Clark gets to a thousand and then you're going to have, uh, Rory Marriott number two, um, Darren Wood gets to a thousand. That will matter. Um, but I don't think I'd like to think that, um, taking milestones away would be a step to, well, actually it's a revenue generator. They're not going to lose it for a start. Milestones, milestone apparel is a revenue generator. It's way too steeped in it all. And also it's not a competitive element. It is a case of someone going from point A to point B from start to finish on a 5k once a week, very roughly, depending on how much they go. And you get a milestone for doing that. That's not particularly competitive. It only becomes competitive if you create a table online and people go, I am higher than you. I am number one. I am number two. I am number three. Um, 
let's be honest, the reason why I'm so happy to be number two, not because I'm happy to be ahead of other people, but the person um, who was number three made a big, big deal out of being ahead of me. And I heard about it on the grapevine that he was really happy about it. And he made it a big issue. I had no issue being whatever position. He made it a thing. And that's horrid. It's toxic. It's like the points competition in the past. Points competition in the past existed. Um, it was fun. It was inclusive for people who could do that. But it actually became toxic. Hello, Bev. She can't come in quietly. Um, it's fine. But you, it's, hi, hello there. Um, Bev needs to do some work. I need to go soon. Um, this isn't going to bring people to parkrun. It's just going to drive them away. I will have to agree to disagree there, David. I was looking forward to reaching my 100 volunteer this year, but no point in bothering now. This is the way they're going. That's a lot of assumptions. It's a huge assumption. You're presuming things there, David. There's no evidence to suggest that. They wouldn't move the volunteer accounts in a million years. Um, you just have to be careful with how the information is displayed and if people can weaponize it to become a competition. And this is why a lot of the stuff has gone. Um, I don't understand why Mara is focused on park when anyone can enter any actual race without undergoing any birth certificate checks, et cetera. Yeah, and also park run, people can fake their age as well. They can fake their name in it. Yeah, like I say, it is not the Olympics. Um, Victoria Lawrence, uh, I will never be a sub-20 runner. However, I did take joy from my age category grading. Yeah, absolutely. Again, this is an ego thing. And I don't mean ego as an egotistical in terms of like you're allowed to have that element as an ego. Go, look, I'm happy and proud of what I've done. But it's when people start going, I am better than thou. I am better than you. That's when it doesn't fit with the park on ethos. That what doesn't gel. And this is this is what they've got to consider. It makes me wonder whether where it will go. There seems to be more motivation toward recruiting new runners and considering those that already enjoy and love park run. I don't think the park run does very well in terms of its comms in um covering us lot, those who are super engaged in park run. They don't really care. We're already hooked in, we're bought in, we're the whales. I say the whales in terms of like you know, like uh, mobile games, they call consider whales the ones that are buy and invest, buy all the, the the dry robes and all the notches and everything. You guys are done. They don't need to get you. So their comms is about getting more people in so they can have KPI performances, reach their strategy targets, keep the sponsors happy, generate greater revenue. No, they don't. They don't care about us. Um, they they but they do like the fact that you're going to buy things off them but you're going to do that anyway because no matter what they do even if they make this change you're not going to leave park run you're not going to walk away from park run just be honest about it that's fine it's okay it's the way of the world um if they want to recruit more runners and everything else and that's what i'm going to do if that's their comms channel strategy that's going to be it means that we just have to feel left out or find other ways of doing stuff uh anna mcmanus this it was like dog gate all over again whole bunch of people angry shouting at lots of other people and give it a few weeks and it'll all settle down again yes it is it's dog gate it's egg gate it is change of website gate it is removal of the hundred jacket gate way way back it is the change from time trial to park run it is the change of going to barcode only if you're around long enough christ oh god i can't believe you're going to... people push back on barcodes how do they think it would work and happen now if people are just sat there typing in names on a laptop at bushy with two and a half thousand people it wouldn't be possible people don't like change you don't have to agree with it you can voice that but tantruming about it isn't going to necessarily change conversation is, is key polite discourse is key communication is as ever a big part of the issue when you take a decision where you are damned if you do or damned if you don't then you manage the impact with clear proactive communication yep and they dropped the ball here mark they dropped the ball again they keep doing it again and again and again. They keep making the same mistakes. This is not the first time. Something's come out, it's leaked out, and then it's spread, and they've had to play catch-up. They keep doing it. Carl Johnson, Charlie Pearson hits an nail on the head. We'll still be the same warm welcome at Park Run tomorrow. Yes, this is just it. And Marcus Elwes, thanks for bringing some sanity to these proceedings, Danny. And do you know what, Marcus? I hate having to be this person in the middle. It just makes me this uh, – I mean – I don't get any joy out of it. it like I say, do I feel, do I sound tired? Do I feel hollowed out? Um, yeah, I just, it drives me insane that I feel so compelled to have to say something to like, almost like bang people's heads together and go, will you wake the flip up? Stop, calm down, have a conversation and get some perspective on all of this. Parkrun is, you're, you're over inflating everything about it all. Rory Marriott. I didn't go to my first park run in 2011 for stats, and tomorrow I want to go to my 900. Oh, are you on 994? <laughs> Rory's quite high in the volunteering. He lets us know. 
money money wine isn't joking about Rory. Uh, I didn't go to my first park run in 2011 for stats, and tomorrow I won't go to mine. And 994th of them either. That he's blending, he's blending his numbers in. He's blending his numbers in. Um, Jr. Surely you could subscribe to see all results, and then those who are in, in, intimidated to join Parkrun uh, don't have to subscribe to that content. Look, I don't necessarily buy the whole. They're changing it because people are intimidated and their feedback, their sources. You survey enough people, you're going to get the the information that you want. Uh, I just think that it is a combination of the acceleration from the pushback from a certain um, a part. A, part, a bunch of parties online as well as they were going to do this anyway and then now they're saying that this is the feedback and information that we were given they may have got it from some people um and then they've they've pinned everything on that um yeah look lies damn lies and statistics and surveys and all the above ian thompson uh sadly the right wing think tanks this is the thing right wing left wing i'm just tired of all this as well sorry ian ways to continue with the divide and conquer agenda do you know what the liberals and left wing aren't particularly much better either this is the thing um we've got to stop saying this tribalism thing your right wing your left wing you you think wrong you think i mean you i again i'm quite liberal but if i dare to have a thought which slightly doesn't fit with the the, the entire left agenda i'd be immediately become a bigoted or a uh, tory nazi all of the above and that's the thing it's everyone's just hurling insults you disagree with me therefore you're wrong black and white we've got to stop trying to politicize everything and dividing everything we're not getting anywhere we keep arguing with each other it's tiring um i'm just glad they didn't ban dogs at the same time christ same here gareth um Use of performance enhancing drugs is a much, much bigger issue for stealing women. Uh, you've already said that. Why are you posting the same thing? Um, Will Fred, no, I didn't explain my point well. I just think it's such a tiny number of people affected in competitive sport, but it's blown up for political reasons. Yeah, we have a general election coming. It's going to be a big uh, election issue regarding all this. That's why they know they can they can divide and conquer. That is the... That's that's politics 101, and it's also control as well, isn't it? Get the masses and the plebs to argue amongst themselves, and you can have control. If they focus on things that really uh, don't matter, you can get away with other things in the meanwhile. It's been done repeatedly over centuries and centuries. Um, Simon Till's asked for the data to be tied to the decision. I'm sure it is there. Absolutely. I'd like to think they would give us the data. It might be 60% of people surveyed said that they do feel intimidated, but who are those 60, uh, 60%? I mean, who knows? Um, BBC didn't spell Parker on lowercase. I gave up on caring about that as well. I'm just glad that people are talking about Parker in general, mostly in positive lights. Um, sorry, sorry, Ian. I don't mean to, do, to dismiss your fella. I love you. Thank you very much for the um, saying hello from the cats this week on. Uh, just joined whilst in Lidl. Hello, Kerry. How are you doing? I'm going to wind this up in a bit because I, I say I'm just a bit tired of all this. I'll give it about 10 more minutes to go through your comments. Um, there are more pressing matters in the world, like two wars. There's more than two wars, Carl. There's only there's two in the media. There's more than two. Um, Tim Gallagher, I am hugely invested and love the stats. I wish they could have moved all the stats to a back catalogue. I have to lift my face up because of this message um, where you had to specifically search for it and new people would be protected from seeing stats on facing pages. This is a pragmatic solution. Yep, I get that. That If you don't want it to be public facing, that you put it in a place that people can still access it. Um, and of course, if it gets presented as a third party, then Parkrun aren't making that message I, I i definitely see there's validity here uh you had to search for it new people will be protected from seeing stats on facing pages and being intimidated uh, new people and stats lovers could both be accommodated harmoniously it's not still there danny you can't can't compare age grades and see where you are on the list compared to everyone else across the event history it was very motivating to me and many of my i'm guessing my friends and so on to be honest with you though look how many parkrun events change their courses or go to a course b course c course d course isle of Wight decides to have or wherever they want to be on the Isle of Wight, one of 50 locations, you're not comparing apples to apples. Um, so you can compare to a degree, but you have to understand you're not running around a 400 meter track within the Olympics. It is not precise. I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not saying don't think like that, Tim. It's just that uh, I think some people overinflate the importance of what age grading is in comparison to other people. Different weather, you're not racing them. It's different weather circumstances. Like I say, you could be in a lovely, um flat fast course and they switch to a hilly or muddier one i mean it this again nuances to all of this uh yulin thank you yulin for emailing us earlier telling me all about monmouth and mono very interesting <laughs> um and alan head danny months of time to review the situation but poor non-existent communication regarding the changes before making the change as i said earlier they've got meant to have run communication they're meant to have a, a company helping them out as well as their 
uh, larger comms uh, team. I think they've dropped the ball here. They've they said they dropped the ball. Social media blows up with people talking about the changes before Parkrun can have their way. Well, something got pushed. The button got pushed, and then the information came out. Um, recent changes simply affect the way of travel. Might as well just run around the park on our own time. Wendy, bless you. You are grumpus sometimes. Uh, Helen, Patricia, yes, Danny, thank you. You're welcome to whatever you're saying yes to. Um, hopefully, I've made a lot of sense. If you don't agree with me in all of it, fine. Do you know what? It's an opinion. People have an opinion. Um, events are now called community rather than time. So I wonder if timekeeping will go eventually. I've been over that before. Timekeeping is not going to go. It's the way they process. Again, <sighs> If you're running around and you go from point A to point B, then what's the point of measuring? It's not 5K. No, no there are core tenets. Again, if it's not competitive, um, if it's basically providing people with their own time for running around a 5K, and if you keep that within themselves as personal, it won't go. Um, like I say, and you want to keep as many you want to keep as many human roles within Parkrun as possible. Otherwise, you dehumanize it if you remove a lot of that. Um, volunteering is very important in that respect. Uh, Peter LaRue, very difficult to have a good faith discussion with anyone about this issue. Yep, absolutely. South Africa has been in the spotlight for a while because of uh, Casta Semenya's case. Yeah, Casta Semenya is a hugely, extraordinarily complex case because, of course, Casta um, does have a biological differences. And increasingly, people on both sides of the argument want to reduce it to a simple black and white issue, which it isn't. <sighs> yeah. It's a Marmite topic, isn't it? More Metcalf, the bigger something gets, the harder it is to keep everyone happy. I'm still happy catching up with friends when running and volunteering. This is not going to be the last controversy. It's not going to be the last um, fallout. Parkrun is going to grow and grow and grow. The foundations are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And all it takes is, again, pull out one little nut or bolt, and it could easily necessarily collapse, but there'll be a huge fallout from it. There's going to be more scandals there's going to be people doing things they shouldn't do people in the community doing things they shouldn't do um the more people you pour into something the more issues you create and um yeah yeah it is it's there's going to be more down the line this is just a step this is going to be legacy for now but there'll be more stuff down the line and you know what i just i can't be bothered i just want to park run and and not be involved in this anymore sorry i suspect the gdpr similar will eventually have a much greater impact on results yeah that's for the search engine all it needs is an individual complaint prompting an adverse investigation yeah i think that a lot so there are some people who don't like the fact that their information can be discovered i'm like i am of the mindset though if you don't want to have your information discovered use a pseudonym school teachers police people do it on social media um it's very easy to keep your information private proactively your end rather than relying on park run um nadine bayati um can't keep us the toughest volunteers to recruit let's get rid of them <laughs> no perhaps not nadine uh gabinier obviously you're joking i get the winky smiley face as well uh free weekly time timing will stay surely yeah no absolutely well they've actually dropped the time haven't they from the program website so free weekly um master clubs potentially in line for being removed competitive uh they're only competitive if you have a table or a league table if you can't access that information jonathan milestones don't become competitive um people end up saying oh if you're showing off a 500 then you're showing if you've done more but that's i think that's aspirational i mean it's certainly we've been over this when i went to custodial events that the the young people there uh, certainly in felton were like oh they looked to it and say well it's something that we can do it gave, gives hope i'd like to think not I'd like to think that if they start to go down that road, um, they're making big mistakes. I'm okay to a point with a lot of this stuff, but yeah, I think they keep on, as I say, they keep reducing things and taking things away. They're going to hollow out Parkrun completely. I'd like to think they wouldn't do that. I think there'll be pushback from it. Um, the manual final results process gives opportunities for lovely volunteer participation. Uh, yep, manual final. Yep, absolutely. Like I say, you don't want to impact, I don't want to reduce the human side of things. Um, Deborah Caffle, uh, Simon's on on fire. Park run without time is literally not park run. This is true. Um, Paul Bunker, real pity that Tim Gross wasn't consulted or forewarned about this. Why are you surprised, Paul? Why are you surprised, Charlie, Elliot, all of the above running challenges people? Yeah, they, they tend not to. Any third party is ignored. It's a little bit, uh, yeah, they tend to keep huddled together regarding this. More and more like this was not only communicated well, it was also planned quite badly. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to give them faith that they, they would do well, but they keep making mistakes. It's hard to just keep faith in them all. I don't have much faith in a lot of the comms uh, side of things. 
after you've done it, take time, recharge, do a measured response, but the whole thing is poisonous. Absolutely. Um, I'll leave it for the pod for next week. Imran Zaffa. Hello, Imran. Could be a fix. These stats could be introduced into the unofficial channel, such as Michael Clayton's app. Keep the API open. Allow those of us who enjoy the stats to keep them whilst letting Parkrun stay away from controversy. Yeah, absolutely. If you can say, source the information personally, uh, privately, and it not be on publicly uh, public display, there's absolutely a solution. I agree. Um, I'm trying to look through the comments which aren't referential. A story was amazing. It's so funny. Totally agree. Danny says, Paul Allcoat does enjoy Parkrun for what it is. Certainly will tomorrow. Right. It's free. It's weekly. It's timed. That's all. Yeah. At, again, at the yeah, fundamental basics. It's why I fell in love with it. I turned up, ran around, got timed. That was it. And then went to carry on doing it. Uh, big squish is big deep breath. Sorry, I'm not after sympathy and sort of like hugs and oh, Danny, Paul, oh, woe is you. It's not me. I'm not that. It's not all about me. I don't want to make it about me by any means. I just that uh, I think I'm a a uh, what do you call it? Not weather vane. You know what? Like of, of a lot of this stuff, and I'm reflecting a lot of uh, the general feeling amongst the impassioned. Um, Joanna Parkin. Everyone has their own competitive streaks. That's an individual problem. Shouldn't spoil it for everyone else who enjoys it. No, yeah, absolutely. You're allowed to. I mean, yeah. Oh God, yeah. I mean, if I have a little run with Gem and I have a little race with her during the run, there'll be a bit of competition. People are going to laugh. It depends on how it's done. Uh, Andy Janet, uh, speaking of Mr. Speedy person, Andy Jardini, I want to be able to find the cafe with friends at the end of the run. You want to be able to find your way around the course correctly before you do it, don't you, Andy? Wink. Um, there we go. Right, I'm going to wind this up. Done that. Too many comments to go through. Family is so important. Park run happens for me as my husband works. On a Saturday morning, I'm sure if he didn't, I wouldn't park run as much. We would spend our time elsewhere on the beach with the dog. I think many people spend it in bed, wouldn't they, really? Do you know what? I love the fact it gets us up and out of bed and active and productive. Um, right, I'm going to skip over a lot of your comments now. Sorry, guys. I need to really wind this up. Carry on to Salvo. To me, park run is about a Saturday morning with friends. It's about bringing joy, laughter, and love to our community. It's about helping people become healthier and happier. For me, records don't do anything for that. I do feel that removing them increases the inclu inclusivity aspect. Excuse me. However, very aware that I'm out of the UK and someone who is never going to be a first finisher or someone of any of the tables. What upsets me, as always, in some people's reaction, be kind to people. Yeah, carry on. And I write this in the pod for next week. A lot of people who would use the hashtag be kind are doing anything other than. Um, uh, looked up at Dolly and hello, Beth. I think Dolly's in the house. Is Dolly in the house? Is she behind me? Can I have a bit of a happy sign off? Oh, she's I'll, just at the door. I'll sit at the door. Let her in and then we can have a happy sign off for you lot. She's mewing at the door. She wants to come say hello. Let's finish this on a big, big high note. I thank you for being with me, guys. Thank you for giving me one of the biggest live audiences I've ever had. I knew this would happen. And I uh, hope I've covered many bases. I needed to get this off the chest. I didn't want this hanging over me over the weekend. Um, I hate it all as much as most of you. Um, oh, we got uh, Charlie Pierce, not at all fast. Part of me always worried that I'd created something that was driving behavior, aiming to be a dot. And that was never the aim, which is a very, very fair comment, Charlie. Very fair. Uh, Non-competitive focus isn't help when H HQ promotes stories about elite athletes breaking the world record. Oh, they stopped that a while ago, Mark. They didn't do it anymore. They stopped doing that. If anything, we did that with the, with um, the pod. We we did that. Um, and then Gary, Jen Gary Jenkins, tell Gary from Chase Water. You only have to see events like Walsall to see how overly competitive runners have ruined an event. I haven't been to uh, Walsall. Verbally and physically intim in intimidating slower runners to get a time correct decision. Yeah, I'm not going to say oh, everyone at the front is fast is is her horrible either. I was a fast runner and I was extraordinarily polite wherever I went multiple times. If you ever speak to tourists when I used to go around, people at the back, I always used to have a great relationship with and I would always say hello to them as I passed them. I tried to be the best behaving tourist as I possibly could. Um, I think that you do get people at the front who can be a bit aggro. You can get people in the middle and get people at the back who are absolute <laughs> knobs. It's the best way to say say it. Um, right, where are we going? I really need to whip through. Matt Garner. Hello, Matt. Uh, Charlie Pierce. I'm going to have to go through these comments later. It's an hour of this. Um, where are we? Uh, Mike Clark. Um, Parkrun has been a safe place for my mental health. Hopefully, this will die down soon. That all the negativity can disappear. What must PSH think? Um, where are we? Lucy Amos. Hello, Lucy. Uh, it makes no sense to get rid of records, but keep an average time. Everyone is slower than a record time. Knowing you're slower than average is surely more off-putting. Yeah, I, I think that they're actually, I don't necessarily buy into the whole, um, people are so sensitive they don't come to park on because they scan their websites for everything. 
yeah, I'm not, I don't necessarily buy that. Oh, and what's this? How is charging £50 for a hoodie being inclusive? Far too expensive without cost of living crisis, which Park on HQ seems oblivious to. Um, well, they need to fund themselves somehow. Uh, they've got salaries to pay. Um, where are we? Like a communication, ever clearer divide between salaried HQ and volunteers does put me off volunteering. Yep, I don't, I think that divide may grow. I don't think that they take volunteers seriously enough. I think you, they see you as an expendable resource. They have got a contract um, and a job, and they'll only go when they are moving on to a, a bigger and better things. Uh, stepping stone. Some people are uh, career journeymen. Uh, there aren't too many lifers within Parkrun. Um, Jim Davis, your right wing, left wing disagree with me, and you're wrong a bit. Tribalism rant was spot on, Danny. Everything is wrong with society at the moment. Thank you, Jim. Uh, Rod Cairns. Hello, Rod. Where are you? Um, um, it seems to me HQ was just starting the communication about these changes when the change format was published. It seems in an era before the communication was complete, the staff of HQ are complete people to be considered in all this as much as any other members of the Parkrun community. Um, it depends on attitudes, Rod. It depends on attitudes. Um, it seems an era before the communication was complete. Right, okay. Mark Williamson just caught you around. Stats are great for celebrating people in the run report. Yeah, this is going to go round and round and round and round and round. I'm not going to get anywhere. Um, um, and people are arguing on like guys please don't argue online in the message um, look there's no point playing pigeon chess with people there's no you're not going to convince strangers online by arguing with them don't uh, uh, invest your time waste your energies on them um, this is the entire point this is why it has been such a big topic because this is what happens people just uh, whack out a keyboard um, nuance tone is missing from text um, if you were sat down having a conversation in a coffee shop, it would be an entirely different conversation. It's so easy just to let your emotions get the better of you because you're untethered. There's no censorship. Um, and this is not, again, not what Parkrun is about. Please, 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 please. Can we just try and come together a little bit? I'm not saying don't be concerned about things, but there, uh, there's a way about having conversations. And there's one way being forthright and aggressive, somebody on here in particular. And then there's people who can actually you can actually have conversations with. Um, right. Lightning rod. Thank you, Matt. Right. Okay here we go love the dots hi danny don't understand what all the fuss is about i just love meeting up with my friends brick i think you are one of the 95 96 whatever number you want percent of park runners okay thank you very much everybody hopefully you've helped me get a lot of that off my chest hope i've been fair and reasonable i've tried to a lot of that that, that stuff comes straight off the top of my head so i know it's not going to be perfect i know not all of you are going to agree because that is the way of the world if you agreed with everything i said then you would be me and i would be you and that would be very very boring we can't all be the same if everybody looked the same we'd get tired of looking at each other she is purring away i love this little thing i'm going to spend some time with this one now i'm going to spend some time with my loved one later on and tomorrow and at the weekend and i'm going to spend some time with my family not you bev dolly or bev i'm going to spend some time with my my parents next week taking them to a park run to get me involved as a marshal again. I'm really looking forward to that, being positive forces and helping build things and being part of communities and enjoying life where we can because we're very lucky and privileged to be able to have such major concerns going on in our life that the worst thing that's going on is arguing about uh, results online. There are people who are being blown up, shot, starved and flooded out and having natural disasters hit them. And the worst thing that happens to us is that some numbers on a website disappear and we get outraged by that. If we invested half the energy that we did in this direction, in things that actually matter, we might get somewhere a bit further as a society and it might be wise to do that. Maybe we can just invest our time and energies in a bit of a better direction. Anyway, it's not to reduce certain elements of it all. Anyway, take care. Love to you all. Ta everyone. Bye-bye. If you liked it on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, give it a like on Facebook. If not, if you hated it, give it an angry emoji and I can gauge what my uh, the general opinion is. Please don't forget to react on it. ta everyone. Love you loads. Have a good weekend. And wherever you go tomorrow, I might chuck a post up on Facebook just to ask you where you're going just as well. Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year's Eve today. Happy New Year. Year of the Dragon for tomorrow. Anyway, bye, everyone. Bye, bye, bye.